Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Samar Ajawi. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued a statement on the occasion of Bahrain Diplomatic Day, celebrated on January the 14th. His Majesty the King expressed pride and appreciation for the achievements of Bahraini diplomacy during its march spanning over 50 years. That is based on authentic principles, firm values, shaped Bahrain's civilizational identity as a country that pursues tolerance, coexistence, and respect for others. His Majesty the King expressed deep thanks and appreciation for the prominent role played by the Bahraini diplomacy at the regional and international levels to lay bridges of cooperation and consolidate relations of friendship between the Kingdom and other countries around the world based on authentic principles and firm values that shape the Kingdom's civilizational identity as a country that embraces tolerance, coexistence and respect for others calls for peace and harmony among the people of the world as well as adhering to international charters and laws. His Majesty the King added that for over 50 years, Bahrain's diplomacy reflected the foreign policy of the Kingdom, which is based on moderation and balance, seeking to build relations and exchange interests with various countries of the world, contributing to supporting the efforts of the international community to enhance international peace and security, address urgent issues and challenges, achieve goodness and a decent life for all mankind. This had a major impact on the high status attained by Bahrain at the global level and the good reputation it has gained as a peaceful country that believes in its principles and deep-rooted values, strongly active in the international community and as good and authentic people who wish good, security and peace for all. His Majesty stated that the achievements of Bahrain's diplomacy through the efforts and giving of its affiliates inside and outside the country in terms of distinguished successes and remarkable accomplishments in the foreign policy of the Kingdom is a source of pride and appreciation and stands witness to the loyalty and dedication of Bahrainis in serving their country, achieving its supreme interests, defending its stances and highlighting the achievements of its comprehensive development march which has always constituted the supreme goal as it touches on the life and livelihood of the Bahraini people and the realization of their aspirations and hopes being the pillar and main target of development. His Majesty congratulated all diplomats and affirmed support to them, expressing sincere thanks and appreciation for their efforts and dedication in performing the tasks and responsibilities entrusted to them. He also commended their prominent role in implementing the foreign policy of Bahrain and supporting the interests of the nation and citizens abroad, praying to Allah the Almighty to bless them with success in achieving aspiration of progress, prosperity, and high status among the nations. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa issued Edict 2 for the year 2022, transferring and appointing directors at the Ministry of Youth and Sports Affairs. Article 1. The Director of the Land Transportation Regulation Directorate at the Ministry of Transportation and Telecommunications, Safa Muhammad Bakr, would be transferred to the Ministry of Youth and Sports Affairs, where she is appointed Director of the Directorate of Policies and Strategic Planning. Article 2. The current Director of Projects Directorate at the Ministry of Youth and Sports Affairs, Sheikha Noura bint Isa bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, would be appointed as Director of Investments Directorate at the same ministry. Article 3. Nani Muhammad Yusuf Buti would be appointed Director of the Information Systems Directorate at the Ministry of Youth and Sports Affairs. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Works and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, expressed his happiness with the victory of the horse RB Rich like me for Team Bahrain Victorious and Fawzi Nas in the first round of the Al Maktoum Challenge within the Dubai World Cup Carnival, which is held at the Maidan Racetrack in the United Arab Emirates. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad stressed that the victory is a result of the support and interest of His Majesty the King for equestrian sports in the Kingdom, reflected in the successful participation in major international horse racing events. His Highness Sheikh Nasser said that the victory would be an incentive to continue achieving positive results in international forums, praising the prominent role of coach Fawzi Nas in creating the ideal atmosphere for Bahraini participation in such a great global forum, and praising the efforts of jockey Adri Davis. For his part, 
Mr. Fauzi Nas expressed his thanks and appreciation to His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa for His Highness's continuous support for Bahrain's foreign participation. Mr. Nas praised the victory, which is added to the series of victories achieved at the Maidan race course and confirms the prominent Bahraini presence in Maidan. Horse RB Rich Like Me won the first round of the Al Maktoum Challenge, the first category, for over a mile on the sandy floor of the Dubai World Cup Carnival. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif Zayani, expressed pride in the important achievements of the Kingdom of Bahrain and its foreign policy under the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and his royal devotion, keenness and interest to strengthen the Kingdom's relations with various countries of the world and support the interests of Bahraini citizens abroad. In this regard, he said that His Majesty the King's dedication of the 14th of January of every year to celebrate Bahraini diplomacy reflects the remarkable interest of His Majesty in Bahraini diplomatic work and its leaders, which is a source of pride for all diplomats. Dr. Zayani hailed the support received by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs from His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. He added that the ministry is continuing its effective diplomatic work to serve the interests of the kingdom and its citizens in implementation of the directives of His Majesty the King and in the implementation of the work program of the government led by His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, to support the kingdom's comprehensive development process for the benefit of citizens based on the principles and foundations of Bahrain's foreign policy its goals and future tendencies, and on the well-established values of Bahrain society. And the Ministry of Foreign Affairs hosted a virtual ceremony to mark the Diplomatic Day of Bahrain in the presence of senior officials of the ministry, heads of diplomatic missions of Bahrain abroad, and the foreign ministry's employees. Marking the occasion, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif Zayani, delivered a speech in which he expressed pleasure with the highest expressions of thanks, appreciation, and gratitude to His Majesty the King and to His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, for their support they provide to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and its diplomats and administrators, which is an important catalyst for more effective diplomatic work at the regional and international levels. He praised the distinguished Bahraini diplomacy and its tangible and remarkable achievements and successes in building strong relations of friendship and cooperation with various countries of the world. He recalled in this regard the blessed march of the Dean of Bahraini Diplomacy, the Deputy Prime Minister, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa, and his loyal and active role in consolidating the pillars of Bahraini Diplomacy and building strong and solid relations with brotherly and friendly countries. Dr. Azayani expressed thanks and appreciation for His Highness's support to the Muhammad bin Mubarak Al Khalifa Academy for Diplomatic Studies, which was honored by His Majesty the King, who gave it the name of His Highness. He praised the remarkable efforts of the advisor to His Majesty the King for Diplomatic Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Muhammad Al Khalifa, for advancing Bahraini diplomacy at Arab regional and international levels. The Minister of Foreign Affairs extended his congratulations to all the diplomats and administrators working in the diplomatic missions abroad and at the ministry's headquarters, thanking them and appreciating their efforts as well as performance of the tasks and duties entrusted to them. At the conclusion of his speech, Dr. Zayani affirmed that the Ministry of Foreign Affairs will remain keen to achieve the directives of His Majesty the King and strengthening friendship and cooperation relations between Bahrain and countries of the world to protect its higher interest and enhance its position on the regional and international roles, confirming with international charters and laws. On the sideline of his participation in the Future of Minerals Summit, the Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Mr. Zaid bin Rashid Azayani, paid a visit to the Royal Commission for Jubail and Yunbar in Jubail Industrial City. During the visit, the minister was briefed on the work mechanisms of the commission, its investment promotion, management of industrial cities, and providing quality services to citizens and companies alike. 
Azayani also listened to a detailed explanation given by the CEO of the Royal Commission for Jubail and Yunbo on the infrastructure plan necessary to prepare the Jubail and Yunbo regions. The minister and the chairman of the Jubail Commission visited a number of factories and industrial and residential areas. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 1,209,173 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 1,186,507 had taken the second dose, and 901,027 had received the booster dose. The ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. Meanwhile, the ministry said that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 16,356 with 854 recoveries and 2,018 unregistered new cases and no death reported in the last 24 hours. There are 41 active cases receiving treatment and four patients are in critical condition. Bahrain has recorded 1,397 total deaths, while 282,878 recovered from the virus. The Ministry of Health urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus.